Hello everybody, welcome to another video. So today I'm in this 2006 Jeep Cherokee and the problem with this car is that there's no power here at the cigarette lighter socket. So normally when you've got this problem, nine times out of ten it's just the fuse. So that's of course what I thought it was going to be. So um, I had a, have, this car still got the, uh, the owner's, owner's manual with it which is nice. So I had a look in there uh, and there as you can see it says um, fuse 3 uh, 20 amp yellow cigar lighter so I thought okay great that's what it's going to be uh, there's two fuse boxes in this car one uh, one engine compartment and one interior uh, the owner's manual tells us that that fuse 3 for the cigar, for cigar lighter is in the interior fuse box the interior fuse box is uh, just there um, it's got this cover uh, which which you just kind of like you just pull off, pull off like that, comes off easy. And uh, at the back of it, there is this helpful, or I thought it was helpful, let me put it that way, diagram showing you the layout and uh, which fuse is where. Now, as you can see, there, that diagram on there clearly corresponds to what we see on there. You see, you've got you've got those two relays at the bottom. Obviously, and on this car, that left relay is missing because that one says daytime running lights. This doesn't have uh, daytime running lights, but it has got that other relay. And then, if you kind of look up, the shape as you go up sort of corresponds to the rest of that diagram. Yeah, and as you can you can see where it says fuse three. So fuse three corresponds to that. So I just, initially I just pulled it out just to change it, just to whack a new one in there. I wasn't even thinking of making a video or anything, I just, it's just a fuse change. But actually to my surprise that fuse was fine. So after that, I ended up actually spending quite a bit of time trying to pull out wiring diagrams and thinking, you know, where else, what else could be wrong with it, etc, etc. Uh, and I struggled to find a wiring diagram for it as well, which, which didn't help. Uh, and you know, after spending quite a bit of time just messing around on the internet trying to find stuff, um, I, I wasn't really a a any further ahead. So eventually, I thought, well, what, 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 what can I do? So I got the old uh, test light out, and I thought, I'm just going to go through and see, you know, what, 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 where, where we've got power and where we haven't got power. So obviously, I, I've got the ignition on, by the way, because I, I, th I think the ignition does need to be on for, for this for the cigarette lighter to have have power. So anyway, th this is the one that's supposed to be for the cigarette lighter, and if we test it, as it means we got, we got power there and power there. So that means we got power on the circuit and it's not blown. So what I did was I thought I'm just going to go through all of them uh, and just see, you know, like you know which is there any other that, that, that is there any others that are blown basically um and uh and so basically I, I just went through like so, so if 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 i didn't get if i didn't get power on either side i just assumed that circuit was off so i didn't worry about it too much like for example that one uh, there's no power on either side but all all the ones that did have power i just wanted to make sure that there was power both sides just to confirm that, that the fuse wasn't blown and anyway i went through did that and guess what? When I got to this one, sorry, my uh, test light has come. My uh, test light ground has come off the door there. <laughs> when I got to when I got to this one, see so we got power there, but no power on the other side. And actually, without even taking it out, when I look closely, <laughs> I can tell that that's blown. So I don't know yet, I actually haven't pulled that fuse out yet, but I'm pretty sure that that fuse is going to be our cigarette lighter fuse and actually that diagram on, on the fuse box cover is wrong. So anyway, let me, let me go and get some pliers, go and get a fuse and let's see. Okay guys, I didn't manage to find a 20 amp fuse of the right, uh, of the small size, so I'm just going to put in this 10 amp one temporarily just to see if we fixed it. So let's use these uh, pullers to... Uh to pull the old one out, like so, in with the new, I, I have switched the ignition off by the way, j just in case, for the time being, put that in, uh, 
switch the ignition back on and yes as you can see we now have that uh, light back on so there you go guys uh, I wasn't expecting to make a video on this but uh, you know it's certainly wasted a lot of my time so if you happen to be having the same uh, same problem uh, getting confused by that layout I hope this video is helpful to you and I suppose if you're just one of my general viewers um, thank you for watching and uh, and yeah hopefully the, you know that the, the technique I show with um, the thought process and the technique I show uh, might sort of like be, be helpful to you in, a, in another situation I hope Any, uh, but anyway uh, thanks for watching guys see you on the next one bye